Doctor, what is skull base surgery and who takes it? Any problems below the brain, the base of the skull, we have in the front, we have middle and posterior, three parts of the skull base. Any problem in the skull base below the brain, maybe it's a tumor or it is some vascular lesion like an aneurysm or some infection. Though patients who have these problems will need a skull base surgery. Doctor, is skull base surgery in this clinic? Compared to regular surgery, skull base surgeries are a little bit more complex and they are more riskier than the conventional part. However, there are a good amount of technology now to perform or execute this very safely and effectively. Doctor, what are the common conditions treated with skull base surgery? Commonest being tumors, we see meningiomas, schwannomas, and some rare tumors like a cordoma, chondrosarcoma. So these are the craniopharyngiomas. These are the common skull base tumors. Of course, pituitary adenomas also constitute this. Vascular lesions like aneurysms are also part of the skull base uh, lesions which we treat regularly. Doctor, are there non-surgical treatments for skull base? Majority of them require surgery, but if it is detected very early, if the lesion is small, less than maybe a centimeter or so, we may treat them without surgery by radiation. We call that again called radio surgery. Though it is called radio surgery, it is not really surgery, it is radiation. The focused radiation, we may be able to treat some skull base lesions without surgery. Doctor, how long is the hospital stay after skull base? Again, depends. So different types are different procedures, complex uh, procedures require a little bit longer stay than routine surgeries but on an average somewhere around 7 to 10 days will be the overall hospital stay but some patients may require longer time if their recovery is little delayed. Doctor, will skull base surgery affect brain function or facial appearance? Generally we are working below the brain so we need not handle the brain much so in fact we, the brain functions will definitely be much much preserved than a regular surgery. Some tumors, if they can involve the cranial nerves, especially the facial nerve, commonly with the vestibular schwannomas, they can affect facial nerve function for some time, but majority of them do recover over a period of time. Doctor, can skull base tumors come back after surgery? If they are higher grade, then there are chance of recurrence, especially if you leave behind the tumor. If you have removed the tumor completely, um, if the grade is a good one, majority of skull base are, then they don't come back. But a high grade tumor, and especially if you leave behind tumor, this craniopharyngiomas, they do come back, so they need adjuvant therapy later. Doctor, how about endoscopic skull base surgery depends on traditional surgery? Previously, maybe I would say 10, 20 years back, all the skull base procedures were done microscopically, microsurgically. But now, last a decade or so, the endoscopic skull base surgery have come up in a big way. And what we were doing microscopically, I think 50% of those we are doing now by endoscopic through the nose. So that is now playing a big role in skull base surgery. 